You've undoubtedly heard the term water crisis. Perhaps you have already heard that 2.4 billion people do not have access to basic sanitation facilities. First, 80% of the wastewater generated by human activities are disposed into the bodies of water with no pollution remediation. Toxic pollutants from numerous sectors have made their way into many water sources today. We need portable water to drink and to bathe as well as to irrigate our lands and feed our pets and livestock. SDG 6 is more important than ever for humanity's survival as water is the life and it affects us in a variety of ways. Despite the fact that water treatment technologies are used in industries, several of these have drawbacks. Among treatment methods, adsorption is found to be most effective due to its low cost, simple, and efficient design. However, conventional adsorbents have drawbacks that restrict their applications on a large scale. To address the limits of conventional adsorbents, we propose the use of metal organic frameworks or MOPs, a novel material explored for its potential in various environmental applications. We aim to use MOPs for the removal of a range of pollutants from wastewater to contribute to SDG 6. MOPs has what we call a breathing ability, which allows them to host guest molecules and push them out once external stimuli is applied. This ability allows it to remove a large amount of pollutants and to be regenerated and reused, making it sustainable for water treatment. With its novelty, its raw materials and production process still need improvement. How do we aim to address this? By recycling plastic bottles. With our knowledge in chemical engineering, we know that a certain component in plastic bottles can help us in producing mops in a less expensive and more environmental friendly way. Over 3.800 million tons of plastic bottles are produced yearly and only 7% of this are recycled, leaving the rest to pollute our waters and lands and affect wildlife. Repurposing them and giving them second life as protectors of our environment will contribute to responsible consumption and production, which is also another SDG we aim to address. As a chemical engineering student, we developed a novel approach in the production of MOF adsorbents in a way that reduces costs, eliminates toxic reagents, and minimizes energy requirements. MOFs are composed of metal ions and organic clinkers. To reduce cost, we use PET bottles as the source of our organic clinker called PPA. We applied green method in extracting TPA from PET bottles through microwave depolymerization. TPA is non-dissolvable in water requiring the process to use toxic organic solvents and extreme conditions to form mops. Applying our engineering and chemistry knowledge, we converted TPA so that it readily dissolves in water. This method enabled us to prepare mop using just water as solvent and ambient conditions as opposed to conventional methods. We successfully produce moth in this novel approach and use it in removing dyes from water through adsorption. Aside from dyes, moths can also be used for the removal of pollutants like heavy metals and organic contaminants. Using our knowledge and separation principles from chemical engineering, we further improved the adsorption process using modeling, analysis, and optimization with the help of tools like Design Expert and Origin. The mops we produce cost a lot less than commercially available ones. One gram costs us only about $4 to make compared to $67 available mops in the market. The total estimated expenses in this project is only $500. We aim to get funding from partnerships with different universities and government institutions. We would want to further collaborate with industries in the nations in order to pilot test our technology in an operational wastewater treatment plant. State institutions may also be involved to safeguard the program's long-term viability by providing support for policy formulations for water pollution prevention. There's a lot to learn about MOPs. Aside from pet bottles, other pet-containing waste may be investigated and metal scraps may be utilized as a metal precursor for MOP synthesis, which will be a part of a greater research that will be completed in a year or two. We researchers want to work with several organizations to investigate MOP as a 3D material. 3D printing offers another level to mop manufacturing in terms of customizability, speed, and reusability in large-scale treatment. Our team, Wonder Pets, hailing from different cities of Batangas Province, Philippines, came and worked together in crafting our solution on water remediation using mops derived from PET bottles. Targeting both SDG 6 and 12, our solution aims to merge waste valorization and value-adding with a challenge of clean water and sanitation. Through waste recycling, we aim to build back wiser. And through water remediation using MOPs, we aim to engineer a better future.